Good morning and welcome to Carnation Crafts. We are live in the Carnation Crafts studio and as always, it's wonderful to have your company. We have got the most beautiful extension pack for the Garden Safari collection called Ornamental Features. It's so exciting to have this. Expansion packs are gonna take our collections so much further and they are gorgeous. Last week, Sharon turned around to me and said, I cannot wait to do the show because they're so pretty. And they are, it's a lovely expansion pack. Not all of you will have Garden Safari, but those of you that have, this is beautiful for it. However, it does work in isolation from Garden Safari as well. So it's a perfect time to grab hold of this and have some really beautiful pieces to it. You've got the gorgeous well, you've got the beautiful flowers, you've got the garden, would we call that a lawnmower? A, what a is roller. It? A roller, thank you very much. And you've got the little bucket there. It's today's deal of the day. It will go back up in price at midnight tonight, but you can get it today on a show price of 24 dollars it's gonna go back up at midnight so this is it 295 P and P these are different from normal launches with a launch you'll normally have around about a week in order to make that decision and get it at the price not so we deal of the days it will change at midnight it's the time for those of you who have got Garden Safari, you know how this works. You can see it on the card samples, you can see it on the screen, you can see how gorgeous it is. It's all the elements that bring in Garden Safari and just add to it. It's so pretty, it's so gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you some finished samples. We've got Miss Sharon here to do some gorgeous demos for you. We've got Miss Taz in the corner trying to tame, wrangle. tame, <laughs> wrangle, wrangle the cats. She's, she's herding cats this morning. Uh, and we're gonna go through it all for you. But the expansion pack is the ornamental features. You'll find this on the Carnation Crafts website, 230423, and that has a show price, 24.99, going back up to 27.99 at midnight, UK PMP 295. So get yourself onto the Carnation website. As we said prior to, and I'm gonna keep saying, when you go to checkout, please do set up an account. It will make it easier for you to keep your digital files in one place so that you can go back. It will store what you've purchased on there. I have made mistakes before with websites where I've checked out as a guest. It's not your best option. It, they're not doing anything nefarious with your stuff. It's just easier for you. So we do want to sort of uh, keep pa uh, passing that home. So. The Garden Safari collection, I, some of you will remember Garden Safari. It's actually the first product I ever demoed for Carnation Crafts and it's beautiful, it's so sweet. And it's all sitting here. If, if you wanna go and have a look at the Garden Safari collection, you'll find it on the Carnation Crafts website. It's 200501. It's normally 137 pound 93. Only for today, I believe, Carnation have reduced that down to 99.99, but if you use your code from your newsletter, you're gonna get that down to 89.99, which is incredible for the amount you get in. It's huge, it's a massive collection, free UK P and P. And as always, just to let you know, we do obviously have the perfect papers that go with it as well. Your perfect papers are always your best friend when we're creating cards, you know this already. Uh, and they are a beautiful set for the uh, perfect papers, 200, 514, 14 99 as always in the UK and 295 UK P and P. Uh, if your shipping and handling is international, it changes 495 for any collections that you get, but your PMP will go up to 1495 if you add in the papers as well. It's different uh, because your ship and handle is obviously uh, international. So we then have comments from lots of you. Good morning, lovely people. It's nice to have your company. I'll say hello to you all. We've got Pam Simpson. We've got Karen Richardson. Uh, Pam ordered hers this morning, which means you're going to probably get it tomorrow, which is really nice, isn't it? Then we've got Sue. Good morning. We've got Carol. We've got Maggie. We've got Pam again saying hello to Sharon. We've got Karen Vincent, Maggie Jones. Um, she says, please, can we have these packs on SVG USB 2? We've said it, and so her Carnation will be listening. Uh, so let's hope they take that up. And then over on YouTube, we've got Pam Lillington, we've got Jackie Ward, we've got Anne Tuffin and Mandy Motley. Good morning, Sue Martin, who's just said hello on Facebook as well. Just one more shout out for you all. Please do go and subscribe on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you just get told when we're going live. It will make it easier for you to keep up with what we're doing. And also please do use the Carnation Crafts calendar on their website so you know what we've got upcoming as well, keeping yourselves informed. One last shout out for this, the ornamental features. You can find this on the Carnation Crafts website, 230423.
three. 24.99 today, 2.95 PMP. It's gonna go up at midnight to 27.99. So this is the only time you can get your savings on it. Miss Sharon. Hello, Sharon. beautiful. Miss Sharon had a late night last night. She was out partying with some people who sing at a concert. <laughs> But she's here and she's ready to go. So are you ready to show the board so we can I see am. what we've got? I am. Um, I am so in love with this. So we've got this beautiful wishing well, this lovely well with these lovely brickwork. Um, you've got a floral that's going to work. It sits beautifully sort of up the side here. You've got a lovely little butterfly on here, which is great because, you could, of course, you can snip that off and use it with other flowers if you want to. Um, because this is designed to go with Garden Safari, of course, the florals from Garden Safari equally are going to work really well with this. Then we've got this lovely sort of lawn roller, like a Victorian style. Look at this lovely sort of wrought iron detail to it. I just love this. The colours are lovely. Um, this is just, this is where Nick is, is just amazing because this is just um, very typical of the detail that he will go to. Um, just the logo on here, all that lovely iron work. It just in this one simple element, the detail is amazing. And then you've got your little bucket to go with the well. So you can have that suspended from here. Um, it works really well, of course, if you decoupage that up as well, which I'm going to show you. So you've got all of these elements. This on its own as a sort of composition works really well. So if you don't have Garden Safari and you're just going for this, you're going to have real fun playing around with this because it just looks beautiful um, with the roller in front of here and these flowers coming up the side. But if you have got Garden Safari, then you really are going to have fun playing with this. So that's the, the board. Miss Taz is whispering, my mouthing ponderance place to me. I'm assuming she means this yes, goes well with ponderance would, place, which it? it would, absolutely. absolutely. It's going to get rid of loads of your collections, Yeah, isn't that it? little mouse that's like jumping in, could be jumping <gasps> into the well, yeah. couldn't he? That oh, I love him with his swimming costume on. Yeah, that, um, that would be perfect. I've just seen, just, 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 Michelle Hill says, the top of the wishing well looks like gateways of some churches. Just to let mm. you know, with Carnation Crafts, I'm just sorry, Sharon, I'm just going to interfere. You've always got your snipping points. If you want yeah. to use that alternatively, you've got your snipping points. So remember that can be used individually, as can the well itself. So lots of different ways of playing that. Imagine your characters in that well. Imagine them doing different things. Now, before we go on to demo, so I'll let uh, Miss Sharon get ready for demo, but I do just want to answer a question that's on here, if that's okay. Michelle has said, hoping for some help. I know this is not regarding the show, but I'm trying. I'm having problems trying to stamp. Can I ask whether it's okay to stamp on the pro paper or do I need to use Perfect Smooth? I've been finding that Versafine Ink has been bleeding on pro paper. Pro paper is a very specific paper that's meant for printing um, and it's for inkjet printing. So it is set to absorb inkjet. Um, ink essentially and it's not designed for stamping. Whenever we're stamping we use the perfect smooth and it's designed to be perfectly smooth so that we can stamp on it and you'll get a much crisper um, kind of thing from it. You will get a bleed on pro print because it's trying to sit that ink on the surface of the paper because that's what pro paper does. So try not to use pro paper for stamping if you can help it. It will try and just sit the ink on top which means it's not, It's it, that's why it bleeds. So try and use your smooth for that. I hope that helps. Um, I found as well um, by trial and error with that. So I do know exactly where you're coming from. Vicky says, is there a voucher code? There is, it's in the newsletter um, that you sign up for on the Carnation Crafts website. And the newsletter code gives you 10% discount pretty much site-wide. There's some exclusions, but pretty much site-wide. 10% off the whole site. It's always worth having that 10% because your pro prints, things like that, they're all gonna get combined with that. So that's definitely the way to go forward. So while Miss Sharon is just getting ready, ornamental features, this is today's deal of the day. You are getting it uh, on the Carnation Crafts website. You can just click the deal of the day button. It'll take you straight there. 230423, show price, show price. 24.99 midnight tonight it's gone back up to 27.99 now's the time to grab it i know it's very popular at the minute if you do have trouble getting on the website just if you could already if you could be patient that would be awesome um and you've got your 2.95 p and p there are three other ones that we're just going to have a look at today yes miss taz sorry just while we're on ornamental features 
Carol saying that uh, the code isn't working, that's because it's the deal of the day and I don't believe the code works for that. Right, okay, so your deal of the day, it will be reduced on the deal of the day. As we say, your 10% discount, it applies for certain things and has exclusions on others. If the deal of the day is on, then it's, it's I would imagine it's already reduced. However, 10% will get you 10% on other things, so it will take it down. We've got three others to look at. I'll just put them in front of here, Taz. Is that okay for you? So we've got Hi Friend, he's my favorite. And the little gateway, you'll just see on the little gate, there's three little holes and his little eyes and his nose poke through it. It's the cutest thing ever. So that is Hi Friend. You'll find Hi Friend on 200510. And the show price is 19.99, PMP 295 in the UK if you're just buying that because it's under 50 pounds. Remember Carnation will always give you free PMP when it's over 50. On top of that, we've got I Dig You. I Dig You is a really, really gorgeous set. 200, 512, brilliant for all the gardeners in your life. Gorgeous big sentiment, which we always love to have. You've got the big hat, that will fit on lots of different characters that you've got. You've got your wellies and you've got your uh, little shovel there as well for the garden. So loads of colors, and that'll come in really nicely with fresh blooms as well. So they all just work together. Show price of 14.99, 2.95 PMP if you're just buying that as an individual because obviously under 50 pounds. And the third one to show you is Garden Glimmers, which is super, super sweet. Garden Glimmers is gonna be on there at 200511. Show price today of 8.99 and 2.95 PMP. I'm just gonna do this because it's really naughty, but it's got some of the little vignettes. Look at the ladybirds. I was just gonna say the ladybirds in that are so cute, oh, aren't you. they? I love ladybirds, they're so sweet. And you've got the dragonfly there. So today's the day to get all of these, I will say, as a foundational piece, it's partly because it's the one I started with. As a foundational piece, if you've never bought Carnation Crafts before, Garden Safari is a really great one to start with because you've got lots of areas to play with and lots of different ways of making it format. In so much as, yes, it's a garden piece, and yes, it's got all of those elements, but when we're looking at something like Garden Reflections, which if you're using mirror card behind it, would look beautiful as a, a kind of a mirror in a garden, but it works beautifully just as a frame. It's so pretty. So things like that, they're really good as your fundamentals, the characters, your garden friends, your cracks and pots, all of these things. This card shape is incredible and lots of different ways to play with it. Then things like your boundary fence, where you've got something like that, it goes across all of your collections. You can make stunning cards with those, but you can make incredible individual cards by adding all of those individual items to other collections that you own. That's the power of Carnation. The power of Carnation lies in the fact that that artwork is done in house. It's important and I'll never stop saying it because it's important. It's all drawn and designed to work with the dye that is produced to give you the best quality. And that's really, really important and strong and powerful in the cards that you make. It is, it matters. Right, let's demo. Now that I've preached to you a little bit, let's demo. So <laughs> Miss Sharon is gonna show you what you can do with the expansion pack. Yeah, I'm. we're gonna start with that lovely well. So what I've done, um, as always with Carnation, you've got your mats and layers for that. So I've taken the largest one and used that to create my base card. And I've done what we usually do is just put a score line down one side, put some red line tape to, to create my own card shape. Then I've gone ahead with the other two mats and layers that are on that uh, die set and I've used the perfect papers. So the first one, I've put some of Carla's lovely chunky foam <laughs> tape on. Did we go five mil or three? That looks like a five mil to me. Up there. I think it's five, five, isn't it? It's the proper chunky one. I love foam tape. Which I will never get straight. As you know, Carla and I um, can't put our heads over when we're working with the camera above us. So it's always going to be a little bit wonky, but that's not bad, actually. That's actually a that's really great bad. arrow <laughs> shape as well. That could make is, a really it? great arrow card. And the next layer, because I've gone so high with that one I'm staying just a double-sided tape for this one and what I've done is I've picked there's a lovely sort of lavender color and now I've gone for cream they're from the garden safari mm. perfect papers is that right that's right yeah so that's gonna layer up beautifully so that's my sort of foundation for my card so then let's bring in this beauty <laughs> The detail on this, I mean, this, as you were saying, the snipperability, because you could just use this as a wall if you wanted yeah, to. Isn't that gorgeous? You? 
So let's pop the card to one side for a minute because what I've done is I've die cut a few of these because I want to decoupage it up. Um, so I've got one in entirety and then I've got the bottom piece and the top piece and I'm going to shape those a little bit so that this has got real 3D dimension to it. So for the base layer, I'm just going to go with my ball tools and I'm just going to shape really around the edges of the bottom like so, just to curve that out a little bit. I'm going to leave the top flat because I really want the dimension to be here. And then the next layer, I'm going to do the same. Just go around the edges. And the beauty of carnation dyes, you can almost, you can hear that popping, can't you? And you go, it's such a pleasing it's sound. It's a lovely isn't sound. It? Carnation designed their dyes for this. So there are always little cut marks within the die that mean your paper is not going to just crease and crumple when you do this. They are designed for shaping. So um, the fibres in the card are going to bend nicely, basically. I love the fact we have the choice. I love the fact yes. that they're designed for shaping and sculpting and that gives us the power to do that. But also the fact that if we're not if we're not into it, you don't want to do that. You don't have to. And that's I, I love I just love having options. It's important, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. And that that really is. I think that's what sets Carnation apart from every other company yeah. that I've ever worked with, because, you know, you can go in with ball tools on any die. But if it hasn't got those cut marks, you really are going to get creases in it, yeah. um, particularly if it's a large area. No matter how good you are at paper sculpting, um, it, you're just not going to get the, the amazing result that you immediately get when you're using a Carnation die. If you had the fishing rod, I think it was in Water's Edge, there was a fishing rod. Edge. I'm pretty sure if you had that in a little mouse that's sitting next to the well, how cute would that be as if the well was fishing? Have you just had an my, accident yes, with Sharon? My, uh, my syringe has exploded. <laughs> oh, good lord. Down. Well, that's never good. That's never good. I don't know if I've got another one behind you. There might be. There's a fresh one just behind you, Sharon. Oh, Not that one, the other one. Can you see it hidden in? No. Do you want me to come behind you? Come behind me. Sorry, everyone. Have you got some pin flat? Hey, up there, I've and I will fill flat. this for oh, you. Oh, thank you. What I'll do is I will just take some of this explosion off with my <laughs> pokey tool. <laughs> I carefully filled this just before the show, all prepared. Sometimes they just this is a brand go. New one. They yeah. just go. I'm leaning in behind you again, Sharon. Sorry. Perfect. Let's get another little explosion. Oh, yeah, it's cracked all the way down. Oh, that's annoying. Mm. Here comes Miss Taz with the tissue. This is what I mean about her being our carer. Oh, thank you, Taz. <laughs> Bless her. Well, that was unexpected. Anyway, let's pop that one on because I've managed to get enough on there. So that's my first layer. There you go, lovely face. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I'll try not to break that one. One thing I'm not short of is pin flare syringes. I have no. many. <laughs> there we go. So the next layer that I've shaped can go directly on there. And it just really is going to give this some depth. And then I'm going to go top and bottom to bring that out. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning, Trina. It's like the whole team's here. It is, isn't it? Carol's, oh, Carol, you little corker. Carol says the fairies look, would look good with this set. Oh, Pure enchantment. Oh, yes, because you could have one. <gasps> Can you do Yes, that would be nice. And the little ladder that was in Pure Enchantment as well, mm. at the side of the well. Yes. Yes, I like that idea. So let's go with the bucket next. So I've done that twice and what I've done is I've got my bucket ready to go and then I've done taken another one and snipped the, the rope off of it so that I can just give it a bit of dimension. Michelle Johnson says I just bought this, the High Friend and some 240 GSM Perfect Smooth Paper. I love the 240. Yes, me too. 
350 is my absolute go-to for card bases, but I, I also, the 240 is so the lovely to work with. 240 is great for um, sentiments and... <laughs> Pauline e says, oh no, I'm liking this one, could be fresh air for tea. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. Look at that. So to give it even more oomph, I'm going to go in with another one. And this is where shaping it really really makes a difference because obviously a bucket isn't flat is it it's curved and it absolutely gives you that illusion once you shape it so it really makes that pop. absolutely gorgeous so that's my sort of card shape now we've got the fun bit of adding in the florals and i've grabbed um rather than use the florals from the extension pad pack i thought i'd mix and match um so i've grabbed some that are from garden safari I've got this lovely ivy that's going to look lovely up the side. Look at that. And then this lovely floral spray. And I've got some separate florals so that I can decoupage those up a little bit. And I can play around with the layout. I could have the ivy with the florals on top to keep, keep the florals all on one side. Um, I've got a sentiment. How well does this sentiment work? <gasps> yes. I noticed, I think um, Janine had, had the same... <laughs> brainwave is me and, and found that one <laughs> um so i think that's going to sit nicely there so it might be better to have everything else all on one side it could go over the ivy as well so let's have a look at both options because that's the beauty well sharon's just comping uh, can i just say as well because there was a conversation about this in the group carnation stamps are mm, incredible their are. sentiments are incredible their other stamps are incredible and uh they're all on carnation's website so so please do go and look their sentiment stamps are just beautiful so i'm just going to give the ivy a little bit of a shape on the leaves not too much but just a little so he says i only had a couple of the die, uh, die sets from garden safari have ordered some more plus the new one and we'll be gazing out of the window for the post person tomorrow standing by the letterbox so the dog doesn't get it first i have a few storage wallets with teeth marks in it oh. <laughs> i had to buy a when i had corny at the house at the other house i had to buy a like a, uh, a, a yeah, tin letterbox thing that went on the inside mm. so it fell into it yeah i i had um I had a long-haired German Shepherd, very like your corny, and I did the same. Yeah. My post would not survive if I hadn't uh, got one of those. So the florals, I'm going to give a little shape, just to the two main ones, and they can sit there. Oh, it's the ultimate fairy tale, Sharon. I love this. I love this set. Um, you know me and florals anyway. The florals just make me happy. But it's the extra elements because florals are florals, but it's having the little scene builders, you know, to have the wishing well, to have, you know, like the little welly boots. And it's all those extra things that enable you to create your garden rather than just some flowers. Yeah, isn't it? that's the that's the key. And it, it's what enables you to get as much life as possible out of your dies because you're the the different sort of compositions you can come up with. So I'm going to add that onto there, just to give some nice depth. And I haven't done all the flowers. I've just done this larger one here. So I'm just going to put a dot of blue on there. And then work out which way around that goes. So that's like that on there. And then I've got a nice space here for the sentiment. And I haven't matte and layered that. I've just used one of my nesting dies. I think this one is shabby ovals, I think. Um, so that's going to sit nicely there to the side. So we'll just pop that on. Like so. And there we are. Such a gorgeous card. Just so pretty. you want me so to turn that pretty. around, Taz? Front facing, or is that okay like that? That's okay like that. Absolutely stunning. It's it's important. I don't, I, is this, am I right in thinking this is the first expansion pack they've done? Because what an absolutely amazing idea. We get the obviously the special ed vignettes. Yeah, I've not seen an actual expansion pack on top of an already existing collection. Yeah, no, I haven't either. It's a what great, great idea. idea. Yeah, Great really idea great because idea. we get to have a really exquisite, fresh look at something that was already beautiful and then we bring it forward with some new elements so i really i hope they carry on doing that because that's such a great idea um pam wade says love this set karen says beautiful card sharon it's it's the power of carnation isn't it it, it 
it's just the fun of, of looking at what we can create. Things like, look at that. Look with the little hat on. Oh, that's just, <laughs> just beyond sweet. Oh, just the extraordinary, look at the little hedgehog. Look. His little face. Garden Safari is such a beautiful set. I've always, always had a bit of a thing for Garden Safari, partly because it was the first one I did. Look at all these stamp sentiments. These are all carnation stamp sentiments. Their stamps are beautiful. Oh, I nearly destroyed the set then. Oh, I had a very prickly armpit moment then. I missed his task. <laughs> Wishing you well. Those florals, look at those bad boys. Hey, up wrong end. Look at those. Aren't They're beautiful, beautiful, aren't they? Really stunning. And then this, I love this. I'm very much into white space. Isn't that stunning? Really gorgeous. And then when we look at this one here where you're using the aperture and then that gorgeous paneling, the be beautiful fretwork that you find in the uh, main card shape for Garden Safari, which is the into the garden card shape. When you see that coming through the aperture there and raised up, there's power in that. That's a really stunning card. And I have to say, that would be a really beautiful sympathy card. The ones we don't want to make, but sometimes we have to. Wouldn't that be a truly beautiful sympathy card? Also a gorgeous christening card as well. You're gonna have a lot of fun with this because there's a lot of ways that you can bring it in. Like I say, it does work independently from Garden Safari, but it is a really nice way of just refreshing our minds, isn't it? I love doing things like this and I love doing the special ed vignettes when we start to see new ways of bringing the old collections back because sometimes we're we're so far on with the next collection that we we don't stop to breathe in the old collections and this gives us that chance to do it and it's a really nice place to be the ornamental features only until midnight it's on the deal of the day today 230423 and that's 2499 but it's going to go up at midnight and it'll be 2799 so today's the day 295 pmp in the uk if you do want to take another little look at the garden safari full collection that is on the carnation crafts website i know some of you have said this morning that you've already gone and got that that's 200501 it is on a really special show price today so it should be 137.93 that's what it normally is on the website they've reduced it for you today because of the expansion pack uh, down to 99.99 but you will need to use your 10 percent discount code from the newsletter for this to take it down to 89.99 otherwise it will charge you the 99.99 it's really important to get that newsletter really important they don't bombard you one thing our nation don't do is use your information in ways that are in appropriate but they do use it in ways that help you as a crafter carnation's biggest ethos is their customer and i stand by that sharon will tell you the same thing and so will miss taz that's not just me standing here and saying it the customer is their main focus they're not going to bombard you with stuff it's not what they do but they do want to make it easier for you so they give you a 10 percent discount with a newsletter and that is site-wide you don't have to sign up for it but why wouldn't you want 10 percent off makes no sense not to um I will just give one more shout out for the three little ones that we were looking at before, if that's okay, Miss Taz, is that okay with you? So I'm starting out with High Friend, which is the little dog, which is just beyond cute with that gate where the dog pokes through the little gate. So you can create all sorts of wonderful stuff with that. You'll find him on 200510, show price 19.99, PMP 295 if you buy that as an individual. We're gonna go from there to I Dig You, which is another one of those individuals. And that one you will find on the Carnation website, 200512, show price of 14.95. To, uh, 1499 sorry 295 UK P and P and we go from that to the beautiful garden glimmers which are all your elementals so you've got the beautiful little light there the snail the butterfly the dragonfly and the little ladybirds there and that's only 899 which is absolutely tops 295 P and P you'll find it on the carnation crafts website www.carnationcrafts.co.uk and that's 200511 so that's all the stuff you can get today along with your perfect papers that go with garden safari they will work with your ornamental features as well the artwork all works in together and the colorways are all very specific 200514 for your perfect papers 1499 uh, today and 295 pmp if you buy it individually uh, so i will very quickly shout out and then we'll get back to miss sharon for more of the uh, demos uh, Sue said, beautiful card, Sharon, florals make me happy too. Carol Hart says, fabulous card. Uh, 
Here we go. Alison says, A up. So this just jumps this. Alison says, definitely hope they do them as I'm in the middle of reorganizing my collections and running out of room. Well, I may squeeze a few more in. We just buy new houses. Uh, <laughs> then John Bird says, my lovely dad had a garden roller like that. Brings back memories. I've never seen a garden roller. My nan had one. Did yeah. she? Yeah. And then Alison said, the number of times I've used those wooden planks in Garden Safari, especially on mail cards. Just to say what Alison's talking about. Sorry, Taz, you did tell me not to touch that. <laughs> Boundary fence. Because it's important. There's certain parts of carnation, I talk about this a lot, sometimes the ones that we overlook because it's not there in your face, extraordinary, beautiful florals and those kind of things and we overlook them. Things like this, they're just so important. Because and I love the fact you've got a wider one and a thinner yeah. one because so you've got you two really to play with. can play with those. They're the ones. They're the ones that you bring out again and again and again. So when you think of the sports one that we've just had and we have the parquet floor in there, you can extend your floor with a wooden floor. Comfort of home, you can have a wooden floor. It, it's not about what it says on the packet, which is boundary fence. It's about where you take it after it. It's a wooden piece. We can use it for so many things. Those things, they're important. Sorry. Right, Ms. Sharon, are you ready for another demonstration for I us? I am, yes. And we're going to have a look at some of that little florals, of course. Um, I've got some of the perfect papers. I've gone with the green for this. So I've gone with the darker and the lighter green. My card base, which I'm creating from 350 GSM Smooth Card, is about eight by six, roughly. I'm not, in, I am interrupting you, but I'm just but interrupting not. to answer a question. <laughs> I am, but I'm not. So I'm just saying, sorry, Lynn has said on YouTube, good morning, Carla and Miss Taz. Can I ask where the mouse is from with his little backpack? He's from the Garden Safari collection. He's adorable. And he's there, look, he's hanging off. And that is called a little adventure. If you want to find him individually on the website, he's on 200508. And that's www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. He is snippable, so you can have him individually without the actual plant attached to him as well. Or you can have it as one full piece. So I hope that helps. Lynn and June is saying, yes, she agrees. The stamps are awesome. That, that mouse set is lovely, isn't it? Just cute as a button. So I've just used double sided tape and I'm just going to leave a, a nice white board around the edge. Hopefully that's roughly straight. And then I've gone with the lighter. This is like a lovely sage green. And I've gone with fairly thin foam tape for this one. And I'm restraining myself because <laughs> I know from Carla that I don't need to take those off. <laughs> but it goes against my way of doing things but you're absolutely right it's a waste of time <laughs> taking all the backing off your central pieces are always there to support the center of your card to stop it yeah. sagging in the middle it's the things that we do that make the end of our cards look professional you don't need to take the backing off because we're not using it for adhesion we're no. using it for support it's just to stop it sagging in the middle like me <laughs> <laughs> like my stomach <laughs> um so i've got that lovely trellis and that is from the into the garden card shape and I've cut two of those and they're going to fit beautifully either side. I'm only sticking the centre part because that's enough to hold it. And it's just quite nice to get a bit of shadow by having it sort of um, not attached all over. So I'm just going to go up this sort of centre spine with my everyday glue. And that's going to give me a lovely backdrop to play with. There we go. So that's those two, and that fits lovely on that on that, uh, that mat. Yeah, it's lovely. Just a little bit of glue there. So I'll just hold that down because it's a little bit. Uh, it takes a little longer on perfect papers because you've got a glossy surface. Yeah, and these aren't. These have been in a bag, so they're not completely flat. So there we go. So that's my background. And then we can bring in those florals. The florals from this extension pack are just beautiful. And you really don't need to do much else with them. But you can see I've got quite a large card here. And in my mind, that's not giving me the height I want. So what I've done is I've cut another one. And I've snipped the butterfly off. And very cleverly, these layer up just so beautifully 
Look at that. So you can kind of extend the height. Now you can flip it around, play around with the composition, but they're going to layer up so that you can hide the stem kind of underneath the floral. If you're brand new to Carnation Crafts this morning, how did she flip it? How did it have an image on both sides? That's called a mirrored vignette, something that's unique to Carnation. And when you download your free artwork from the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk, you can go into your downloads and then your free downloads. And there's a position on the uh, right hand side where you can type in the collection. You'd put in ornamental features for this and it'll bring up the free artwork for it. One of the options when you download that PDF is a black line down the center. Center. you can fold it on that and you glue the two together so it becomes a piece of A5 and you cut that out with your die you'll have an image on both sides of the die cut that you've got which gives you way more options yeah it's fabulous isn't it um, and it gives you so much more ability to kind of play around with the layout um, extend things as well snip into them um, you know as I said I felt this isn't high enough so it's very easy to just tuck this one underneath and give it the height I need and it just looks like it's one one large plant so we'll just tuck that under there and as long as I've got the sort of bottom of that stem under the flower you won't see the join as such there we go and I'm going to extend that a bit more by decoupaging up the flowers <coughs> and the butterfly so I've cut another one, snipped off the flowers and snipped off the butterfly. So I can just give those a quick shape by flipping them over. And you can see, of course, these, the artwork is on both sides. So you really can play around with the composition and the butterfly. So we'll start with this large one. You can offset it slightly as you're overlaying if you want to, which really does give even more depth. It's totally up to you. Aren't the colours of these lovely though? That, as you say, these would be lovely for the sympathy cards because they're just a very, very subtle cream, aren't they? Well, without decoupage, they almost look 3D. They do. Yeah, they really do. Um, and that's the beauty of carnation, isn't it? The, the sort of little cut marks in the dye that just give it we're quite lucky really aren't we we're very them? lucky very lucky kind some... of makes our job quite easy really yeah absolutely yeah you're, you're right there because you you literally you can't go wrong oh amanda i'm so sorry amanda says morning guys sorry i'm late i've been busy sorting out my dad's funeral oh, i'm so sorry, sorry to hear that i hope you're okay so i've got my lovely floral up one side i've stamped a sentiment with the hessian circle nested dies which is my favorite and i've put that on that is on natural blush cardstock so my sentiment's going to sit up there but i've got a nice little space here for one of the characters and i've got this cheeky little fox i look love him tail. look at his face i love him actually because my brother and his wife have got a dog called foxy Aww. and she's She's some sort of cross between, I think it's a Patadel Terrier and a Staffy or something. Um, but her colouring is like foxy and she looks almost like a corgi. She's that kind of... Cute. So she does look like a little fox. So um, I think I might have to put this on uh, my sister-in-law's birthday card when that comes up because it really is like their little doggy foxy. So I'm giving him a shape. And as with the florals, I have cut some layers out to decoupage. So I've, I've curved him all over and then I just like to bend because obviously it would he, he's curved here but he would go in under his chin. So I'm just going to sort of pull his face forward to give that shape. <coughs> and then we'll pop some pin flare on him and he can sit there and I can line him up Look how neatly he sits because he's curved and so is that corner of the trellis. He just sits really neatly there. And then we can pop. So I've got just done two layers. So I've done his head and then his front paw as one layer. Again, I'm going to just pull his head forward a little bit. And 
and line that up. He is so cute, isn't he? He's got such a lovely <coughs> proud chest, doesn't he? And it's the eyes as well. There's kind of like sparkle in the eyes, isn't there? It's what they do. It's what they yeah. do. We should stop giving Nick a big head. <laughs> <laughs> he's terrible. <laughs> Going on about how great he is all the time, but he is. He's very, very talented. I give him enough abuse when I'm in the office. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Anyone that knows Carla will know that's very much true. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. And my sentiment can sit in that little space there. That is and stunning. Because the sentiment's on a round. Have you used dye. the blush naturals for your sentiment? Yes. Yeah, I have. thought I recognised it. Absolutely stunning. So the original Garden Safari that Sharon's using there, the expansion pack there is all of your florals and the butterfly. And look how well it just goes together. It's designed, obviously, as part of that collection. So it's obviously going to pair perfectly. But it's just really nice to see it start to come to life and have that kind of breath when we see it in demo form. And it's really lovely watching Sharon do demos as well, because I'm actually learning from Sharon, which is really nice just to have that cross section of how people play with Carnation in such different ways. Um, and so it's just, it's the inspiration, isn't it? When we start to see how variants come together and how, and how they work in different ways. Your ornamental features. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new concept from Carnation Crafts, which is your expansion pack. So rather than just being a different colorway, it's now some extra dyes that go with your original collection, but work independently. You'll find it on the Carnation Crafts website, 230423. It's called the Ornamental Features die set. It would normally be $27.99, but as part of the special deal of the day today and only until midnight, this will remain at $24.99. Uh, and it's 2.95 UK P and P because it's under the 50 pounds mark. Miss Tistaz, if they were to add in the perfect papers, that's going to take it to 39. Am I right, roughly? Yes. 39. So if you'd added in the perfect papers and that's then about 40, pounds. 40 pounds, and then if you added in, for instance, High Friend, you'd get your free postage, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm just trying to shop a basket, but uh, so to speak, so you'd find out how to get your free P and P. Um, so there's ways and means around that. So we do have the three little specials that we've been looking at today, which is the I Dig You, the Garden Glimmers and the Hive Friends. So different ones that you can go and look at. Or please do go and look at the full Garden Safari collection if you don't already have it. As I said earlier, yes, it's a gorgeous collection. It's stunning. As a collection, it's absolutely stunning. But it's one of those fundamental pieces. It's one of our foundation collections that gives you so many elements that you can do so many things with across the different collections that you've had since or before Garden Safari came about. So planks, you've got the card shape, you've got the gorgeous cracks. And I love that so much. The cracks and pots has got a really nice way of being able to snip into it. So you can kind of um, use those sort of individually almost, or you can build up height. Really, really clever. The garden reflections, and can I give a shout out to this Miss Taz and just say, I'm just gonna have a look at it. It's 200507. Garden reflections is a really awesome piece. You can see how nested that is. What we're essentially getting is a nested window. Think of where you can go with that. It's absolutely incredible. Think of the apertures you can create behind that and then the pieces that you can put behind that central panel. Really, really stunning. So the Garden Safari collection is just gonna be a really good friend for all your base work for cards going forward. 200501 on the Carnation Crafts website. The normal price of 137.93, but because we're doing the expansion pack, Carnation have taken it down to a show price of 99.99 today. If you are a, what is it, signed up to the Carnation Crafts newsletter, you'll have a 10% discount code for this month. If you use that with your uh, checkout today, you'll get a 10% discount on the full Garden Safari collection, taking it down to 89.99, which is incredible, free P and P. So always good to know. Alison says, beautiful card. Sharon, Sue Martin says, it's a brilliant idea. Good for those of us that have used all their money on the Easter weekend. <laughs> we did indeed. Karen says, gorgeous. Uh, so lots of people saying, that they're really enjoying it. Uh, over on YouTube, we've got uh, Angela who says she'd love to see cute dragons, castles, elves. And she says, have a lovely day, ladies. You too, Angela. When you put those ideas on here, Carnation, do you see them and do you hear them? Obviously, there's there's the joy of Carnation is there's an infinite number of ideas, which means that we can keep going and keep going and just enjoy 
all of the things that make our crafting stronger. You can't make a bad card with carnation. And that, <laughs> that makes things really easy for me and Sharon. So Sharon, are you ready to demo? I am, I am. And we're going to go a little bit more clean and simple, but not totally. Um, I've created my own card base again from the 350 smooth cards. And the beauty of being able to make your own card bases is that you can choose to make it fit whatever you want to. And I am gonna work with these nested dies. And rather than kind of go with a seven by seven or a six by six, I eyeballed it from my circle die to the right size. So it's actually not quite a seven by seven because I went slightly smaller. So that, that's the beauty. You can create the card size that you need to fit your elements rather than the other way around, which I love. Alison says, don't forget there's a set of smaller fox and hedgehogs, uh, so it can be babies, so good for births and family cards. I've used them all at Christmas. I gotta say, you guys in the Carnation, mini garden friends, you guys in the Carnation army are my heroes. You're so good, thank you. You've all got better memories than I have, that's for sure, because <laughs> I can never remember the names of anything. That's why we depend on Miss Taz in the corner. She has yes. a younger brain than yours and mine, Sharon. <laughs> yes. Although my memory's always been shocking. No, my, mine was always fine up until I got old. <laughs> the change. The change, yes, up until that. So I've gone with that lovely cream for my first nested dye and then for my next matte and layer I've gone with that lovely pale sage green. So that's just going to give me a really nice base and, and I like the curve of that. So I've got all my die cuts here and I'm going to just create a little scene. So I've got that fabulous roller. We've got the florals with the little mice. And I've got my welly boots. And using this as my sort of grounding, I can follow that curve to just create a little scene. This is just a little corner of the garden where the wellies are next to the roller. And we've got a little mouse in the background. Now you can play around with these. Um, and put whatever you want to in the foreground. If I wanted the mice to show more, I could perhaps switch that around and go like so. I quite like the wellies in the middle because they've got that height. So for this instance, I'll probably even cover up one of the mice and we'll just have this little chap peeping out at the top. So I, lo I like that layout. So we're gonna go with that. I have also got to further sort of tidy this up because this doesn't look too good here. You've got this brilliant grounding device in the collection that's going to work really well. So I can start off with that there and then work around that. So let's pop that at the bottom <clears throat> just with a bit of everyday glue. Jan Bird is saying Christmas jumpers, if I remember correctly, it has vignettes for the animals in this set. I believe you are right, Jan. Oh. Loads of things, right? So we just did hard day's work as the, um, the crafters select die and we were sort of swapping out. So remember, if you were doing, if you were using Hard Day's Work, you could swap the wellies in this for the boots from Hard Day's Work. Loads of ways to play, loads of ways to play. Absolutely. So that's gonna work really nicely. I can just tuck that slightly under there and that neatens that up a bit. I would actually go as far as to snip that little bit there because I am a bit overly fussy. I have to say, there we go. You don't have to go to that much effort, but there we go. And then the wellies, I'm gonna shape. Now the wellies, very cleverly, you have got a little slot at the top there. There's just a little cut, so you can slot in some florals coming out the top, which I love, because that just always looks lovely, doesn't it? on a garden scene when you've got some florals. Um, the artwork on these wellies is lovely as well. They're a lovely colour. Look at all the shading and, and the detail. There we go. So my wellies are gonna go next. In front of that little chap there. And I'm going to tuck in a couple of florals. I'll just put a little bit of glue just to hold those in place and then I can tuck those into the little slot. I can use my pokey tool just to make sure that's 
open. There we go. And tuck those in. And you can play around with those. I've what I've done is I've done one that's a bit higher, just to give me some some differentiation between the two. We'll pop that in there like so. And that gives some nice height and it ties in nicely with the flowers in the background. And then my roller, obviously this would be curved, so we're definitely going to give that just a little bit of a shape with the wall tool. With a big area like this, start round the edges. There are cut marks as always. Oh, I love that sound. Can hear it, it popping. Just pops. <laughs> there we go. So that's given that a lovely shape. And I'm not going to shape the handle because obviously that would be sort of behind slightly. And I can have that in front. I can have it tucked behind. I'm going to tuck it slightly behind, which is the beauty of pin flare, because I can move those wellies around as much as I want to, just to fit that in. And then I think I would also probably bring that floral forward as well and switch those around like so. There we go. So you've got your perspective as always. And it's very easy with um, with these dies to do that. I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue at the bottom of those wellies because where I've tucked everything behind them, they're kind of peeking forward a bit. And then final touch for this card is this little mouse here. I have die cut another one <laughs> just to bring him forward a little bit, make him stand out a bit because, you know, he is so cute. We definitely... Don't want him to get lost, do we? We want to see him. So we'll pop him here. To make my life easier, I haven't bothered with his tail. Because to line up the yeah. two tails would be a little bit It would bit make harder. sense anyway from a perspective view. Yeah, that the tail it would, would be, be slightly back. back, wouldn't it? So, um, you know, and it's his, oh, it's, his little, uh, it's his little body that you kind of want rounded as well, isn't it? There we go. So we just pop him on like so. Um, and then you've got room for a sentiment if you want to add one, but it's just I quite a, like the diagonal. Quite a yeah, it's really it's a really lovely way of using white space. When you're using a card base that's an eight by eight, and you bring in those smaller nested, especially with a circle, what you're doing is creating visual relief. And visual relief is really important for uh, just allowing the card to breathe and allowing the recipient to to focus in on the artwork. When we talk about the artwork from Carnation Crafts and we say it's in house, I think what what we can easily forget sometimes is the fact that Nick and the team, the creative team, are actual artists. And so when they provide this, you're, I mean, you buy the dies, but you're getting somebody's artwork for free, as in somebody has sat and painted that. And uh, the fact that we get that, considering if we were to buy somebody's piece of art, like how much that would be, and the fact that we get that for free and we can sell and do all of those things, that's a really lovely touch as well. So um, it, it's just nice to have, right? It's a nice thing to have. Ornamental Features is our star of the show today. It is on the deal of the day, which is on the Carnation Crafts website, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. This has a normal price of $27.99. It's brand new today. It's launched today and it has been incredibly popular, unsurprising. The show price today is $24.99. That'll go up at midnight tonight, uh, but you can grab it today up until midnight and you can get it at $24.99 with a PMP of $2.95. I think we've probably got time for one more very quick demo. Am I right, Miss Sharon? We have, and I have got a very quick one and we're definitely going down the clean and simple route here. This would be ideal for a sentiment card. So what I've done is we've got a slimline card here and we're going with a landscape layout as well uh, this is eight by about eight by four inches and i've used the trellis from the now what was the set blooms what was fresh blooms. fresh blooms um and i've die cut it from white i've kept it very much white on white and so that that is you've got the shadow and that it stands out i've gone in with some of the chunky foam tape and i've just put foam tape under that sentiment banner I love that trellis so much. I do. I, I just know it's one of those dies I'm going to use a lot. Um, it looks beautiful with coloured card, 
but for this very clean and simple look, if you cut it from white on a white background, it just looks so elegant. And you've got that shadow because you've got the height and because it's only stuck down in the center, you really do get a feel of the, of the lovely filigree on it. So I'm going to bring in that lovely floral from the extension pack and that's gonna to sit to one side. Sentiment, I'm keeping it really simple as well. I've just put congratulations. This would work really well if you wanted it to be a sympathy card, but um, it kind of covers, it's just got an elegance to it, hasn't it? So it would work for weddings or sympathies, anything really where you want. Something a bit less fussy and a bit clean and simple. Understated is the word I was trying to find there. So that can pop straight on there very simply. Make sure that's straight. And then it's up to you with the florals. If you want to keep it really, really clean and simple, just pop that straight on. I am going to shape it a bit because I can't help myself. But, um, you know, you don't have to. And I've also die cut a couple of extra flowers just to layer those up as well. So I'll just put a bit of everyday glue at the bottom. Just to make sure that lies flat. And then a touch of pin flare just on the florals. And I'm going to just line that up with the bottom of the trellis, like so. And then I will just add on stunning, just decoupage on a couple of the florals. So we'll do the largest one first. Layer that up. I'm not going to do the butterfly this time. I'm going to keep the focus on the florals. So he says, where is the trellis from? It's from Fresh Blooms, so. There we go. So that is a very, look at that, a very clean and simple, elegant, absolutely breathtaking. This is what we're getting. This is the ornamental features. Those florals are so powerful against white on white. And you've seen, can I, are you all right bringing the three cards Yeah, in? should we look at, because we've got a real... actually. We've got quite a range of looks, haven't we? So we've got that very simple. This one, we've still got some good white space. And then we've got some beautiful. And then we've got the. All four shape. done by the same artist or the same crafter, if you like, but all four of them completely different styles. And so they could be by four different crafters. So we get to diversify in our crafting style by using carnation crafts dies. And it's when you look at the, the very, very simple, the very, very clean and simple with that trellis where it's just so impactful. That's one die really. I mean, yes, we've got the trellis, but actually color wise, it's just that one from the ornamental features which we've got today, and that's how impactful it can be. Then when we start to add it to the original collection, the Garden Safari, or we can start adding it in with other collections, it's incredible to have that as a little piece in our toolbox. That is, I really hope they do more with these exp expansion packs because I think they're really, really clever, and I think it's such a lovely way of, of kind of going back and looking at uh, the collections that we've got. As I say, we're, we're, we're about up with time. 230423. This is going to change price at midnight tonight. It's 2799 tonight, but right now you can get it at home for 2499, 295 PMP. You know that Carnation Crafts are going to be on it, so you know that when you purchase it, they're going to be picking it, they're going to be packing it, and they're going to be posting it. There is a very good chance you might have this in your door tomorrow. A very good chance, and if not, it'll be with you by Monday. It's been really awesome to have your company. I just a massive shout out to Sharon, who's just such a, an absolute dream to watch. And also to Miss Taz in the corner, who keeps us all on the straight and narrow. Huge thank you to Carnation Crafts and to you guys at home, who are just wonderful, wonderful company and awesome to work with because we work as a team. That's who the Carnation Army are. We will be back with you. I'll be back at Create and Craft on Monday. And then we're back, I think, during the week. Go and have Wednesday, go and have a look on the Carnation Crafts calendar. You'll see what we've got coming up, but I'm definitely in Creating Craft on Monday with something so special, so incredibly special, and I can't wait. I will try and get to you and do your Facebook preview for that on Sunday uh, so you can have a look at it. But Man Alive, it is, it's incredible. Can't wait. I will see you all then. Until then, take really good care of yourselves and have a lovely weekend. Bye.